out here bringing another part of this video on reloading precision rifle ammunition. Um, we're at the point now where we have put in the brass to get it clean. We're going to go ahead and, and um, remove the, the brass from the tumbler and see how it came out. So let's shut this thing off now. now it's a little bit noisy also. And um, let's see what was the outcome of the brass. Take it out. I'm using, by the way, like I mentioned earlier, when we put the brass in, the uh, Frankfurt Arsenal case tumbler. Uh, quick and easy. And it is quick and easy, by the way. And um, okay, so now we got the lid off and we got all the brass in there, even though we can't see it. I've been tumbling this brass for like about two hours. So now we need to go down here where we can um, separate the um, the media okay so we're gonna go ahead and, and open this take this pen out this whole kit comes with the um, with the tumbler is the tumbler um, comes with one pound of uh, things corn cob media I like it a lot better than the um, than the uh, crushed uh, nutshell, and it comes with this strainer, uh, shaker, wheel thing, and the bucket, which works really, really well. I haven't had no problems with this. So right now we're gonna go ahead and set it on there. We're gonna bring this down and tilt it in there. So it's right in there, nice and bright. So we're gonna close it. Put this pin that it came with, and we're gonna turn it a few times, just like that. Turn it times. Get the media. notice how I'm wearing my gloves because from this time on from the time you start cleaning your brass you need to start wearing uh, latex gloves so the grease of your hands won't get all over the brass and get it all stained up so from this procedure to the final step of reloading which is like uh, putting the powder in the case and seating the bullet you're gonna see me wearing my latex gloves because you can't be working with bare hands Tumble this thing around. A few times, you don't have to do it a whole lot. Then I go back the other way. Now remember, you don't want to do this. The last three things on reloading, it's got to be. Um, sizing your necks, um, putting the new primer on the uh, case head, the end of the case, and um, putting the, um, charging it with powder and seating the bullet. You don't want to do your necks, like size your necks and then put this brass to tumble in the tumbler uh, while it's getting clean and then, and then be, you know, racking it back and forth in here because you're going to ruin your necks. You want to keep the concentricity of your necks intact. So the last thing will be to, like four things. Primer up the cases, do the, your necks, and, um, and um, charge, it up, charge up the cartridge, the case with uh, powder, and then seat your bullet. And then obviously the last thing is checking it in the uh, Concentracy gauge for roundness. Make sure you got no runouts. So you're gonna shake it. I think we should be okay right now. Okay, 
Okay, so we're gonna take this out. That's it, right there. 20, there's 50 cases in there. Nice and bright, see how, how bright that looks. Bright as gold, okay? And now what we're gonna do Let me go ahead and put on um, this lid back on here. Okay, because we're done with that part. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and put all these cases in your loading block okay that's why you need to have your gloves because from now on you're going to be handling clean brass so the gloves will keep all the grease moisture anything that could be in your hands from getting on this clean brass otherwise why clean it right and obviously, one thing to mention is the reason why I like this type of media, stay away from the um, uh, nutshell or um, because it leaves like a powdery residue on your cases and inside, especially you don't want to have that powder residue inside your cases because that's where your powder goes and you want your powder to be, you know, just powder in your case, not mixed with that residue. So stay away with nut shell media. Um, this is the media that came with this kit and I've used it for a very long time. And they give you, they give you like a little additive that it's a polisher that you put it in there and you mix it and it keeps the media active. And that little bottle, I still have it, I haven't run out and I've only poured it a few times and this thing, can, it shines the brass like forever. So, but yeah, I've heard from my friends that if you get that other type of media that has this like the nutshell or whatever, it'll leave that residue and you gotta get a, a rag and wipe the cases down and then you, it, leaves, it leaves that film inside the cases. So you don't wanna deal with that. Um, so right now with the gloves, shouldn't, you know, shouldn't be a problem grabbing this case, the clean cases and putting them in the loading block. And the next step is going to be um, doing the uh, necks. We're going to resize the neck. Let me put this back on here. Um, the next step is going to be now we have this thing on the loading block ready to go clean brass so the next step is going to be um, we're going to do our necks the reason why I want to do it before I primer it is because my um, neck die which is a Lehman it has the decapper uh, rod like for to, to, to um, uh, remove the primer so the way I have it set, it might, if I primer all those cases now, like put new primers on them, once I get them on the press to do my next, it'll tend to, it's gonna you obviously pop out my new primers. So the next uh, step after cleaning your brass will be to do your next. Then from there on, we're gonna primer the cases, put new primers on, and then it will be the last two steps, which it will be to charge them with uh, powder and then seat the bullet okay so basically we're like uh, four steps away from being done
I'm gonna do the necks in a, in a little bit, show you guys how to do that, and do the necks, and put the primers, load up the powder on the cases, and then we're gonna go ahead and seat the bullet, and that should be it. It's very simple, guys. It's not really hard to do this. So this is gonna be my neck dive. I'm gonna put it back down here. Um, and um, right now that we have all these cases ready, all right, um, I'm gonna go ahead and do another, I gotta clean another 50 more, and I'll catch you guys on another video, all right? So this, that's what we just finished doing. Tumbling the media for like two hours, you just gotta keep your eye on it. Sometimes you can shut it off and pull a case out and check it. Tumbling the media for like two hours, then, put it on the on the uh, separator media separator and then from here you put it on your loading block and you should be fine um, always gotta check make sure there's no um, a little piece of um, media stuck in your primer hole that's very important and making sure that you know they're empty obviously you can do that real quick so um, we should be set in a few uh, minutes. I'll catch you guys on the other part of this video. Mr. Surplus, not out.